why does it even exist? Because Mardu is basically the greatest thing, yet also the most discomforting and annoying. Wait, let's begin with the ticklish areas. The ribs, under the arms, the neck, under the chin, and the femoral artery in the legs. Right, and our reactions are kicking, twisting, laughing and smiling. Smiles encourage positive facial expression. If tickling produced a negative expression, well, people wouldn't keep going. Let's make this easier. The word tickling is a term for two different phenomena, nismesis and gargalysis. Nismesis is when you get an itchy sensation, like when someone puts a feather on your sensitive skin. It rarely produces laughter and can be induced by someone else, an insect or even electricity. It creates a desire to rub or scratch and is only experienced by primates. It's a natural reflex in animals as well. Yes, like a horse whips its tail when a fly lands on its back. The other type is gargalysis. It has a hard to touch, unleashing pain and pleasure to the brain. It's a mechanism that young apes, also humans, use to teach each other how to protect themselves if attacked. It's a way to defend ourselves, so really the tickler is teaching you life skills. So can we tickle ourselves? No, we can't tickle ourselves, even if we trick ourselves into thinking we're not. You don't get a surprise, and therefore we don't have to defend ourselves. When we do tickle ourselves, the brain commands our hand muscles to reach towards a ticklish area. Another part of the brain, the cerebellum, monitors movement. Its job is to pick up the unexpected and message the rest of the body. However, it pays less attention when we are tickling ourselves. If someone else tickles you, it's unexpected, and the muscles and nerves freak out. But what if we could surprise ourselves as somehow tricking oneself into not knowing the coming? They use the body swap illusion, like tricking your body into thinking someone else is running a feather down your hand when you think you see someone else's hand. No, our bodies use active interference when you know your body is about to do something itself. Tickling helps to build relationships and to bond. 16th century tickling was used for corporal punishment. Tickling helps to build calories. 10 to 15 minutes of tickling a day can burn 10 to 40 calories.